What's up guys? May day, May 1st. We got a nice little workout today. I wanna hear everybody's scores, no matter what. If you don't make the classes, submit your shit, reach out, no more bullshit. All right, <laughs> 15 minute EMOM today, not 15 minutes. You, everybody's got 15 minutes, so let's, let's get something done today. First minute is to be 50 seconds of a cardio movement. Running in place, running outside, biking, rowing, jump roping, mountain climbers, something that you don't like to do. So this is a good reason why you should join in the virtual classes is because the coach is gonna say, hey, Kristen, I know you don't like doing mountain climbers, so do them this round, make it a little more difficult for yourself. Or you look like you're having a rough time, why don't you just jog in place for this round so you're not, you're able to get more push-ups in the next minute, which that is the next minute, push-ups. Max effort push-ups for a minute. So we're shooting for uh, at least five to 10 reps. So if Kristen gets to the point where she can't do regular push-ups anymore and she's hit that wall, then we want to scale. Elevate, uh, we don't really necessarily condone knees too much. Uh, if you guys can elevate and bang out more reps and get more volume of the push-ups, it's gonna be beneficial for you leading up to the end of May, which is Murph Day. So if you don't think you're going to be able to do Murph this year, you are sadly mistaken. I will come to your house and do Murph with you and we'll do it by ourselves. Everybody's doing Murph. This year's no different than all the other ones. Back to the, back to the workout. The last minute is gonna be max effort hollow rocks. So just laying on the ground, you're in that hollow I position. Can't, I can't do hollow rocks. Hollow rocks are very challenging. So obviously the, 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 the furthest progression we're doing is in that full hollow position. So that's the hardest one. So she just holds the hollow. So if you guys can hold the hollow, great. If you can't, get your knees tucked into your chest and you, what you can do is hold that tuck position and you can rock there. So just a nice, easy rock. We're not trying to go crazy. She's maintaining all of this and just kind of rocking back and forth without breaking open the midsection. So hollow rocks are an advanced movement. If you are articulating here and bending here, you're doing it wrong. Regress back, uh, use the scaling movements uh, to get better at being able to maintain that core stability throughout the movement. Cool. Um, simple workout. The first round, you want to set a pace. You want to get an idea of how many reps you can do in a minute, and you want at the all the subsequent minutes you get to the next to the same movement. Try to get the same number you got. So if I got 20 push-ups on my push-up minute, I want to try and maintain that 20. So pick a number that's maintainable, and then push it a little bit at the end if you have some extra gas in the tank left. Have a good day. May 1st. It's getting warm hopefully. Later.